Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Recently I received a new single board computer with a Rockchip RK3566 system on a chip. Let's have a quick look at it. Of course, let's start with an unboxing. So I received this big cardboard box and inside it there is a small printed circuit board. This is a single board computer called Geniatech XPI35660. The box also includes a Wi-Fi antenna, an adapter with AU plug because I'm based in Europe and a USB-C cable. I have to say that I received this board for free from the manufacturer so that I can do this review and it was really well packaged. This tiny single board computer has the same form factor as a Raspberry Pi Zero which means it has dimensions of 65 by 30 millimeters that's less than a half size of a credit card. The key component here is the very powerful Rockchip RK3566 system on a chip with a quad-core Cortex-A55 ARM CPU running at up to 1.8 GHz. There is a huge and bulky heatsink because this system on a chip gets really hot. There is no micro SD card so this board relies only on onboard storage. It comes with either 8 to 128 gigabytes of eMMC flash and the RAM memory starts at half a gigabyte and it goes up to 8 gigabyte. This is LPDDR RAM. On the left side we have a mini HDMI connector just like on a Raspberry Pi Zero and on the right side we have two USB Type-C ports. One of them is USB 2.0 on the go and the other one is a USB host with 5 volts direct uh, current input. There's also a MIPI-CSI connector that can be used to attach an LCD display. Just like on a Raspberry Pi, there is a 40-pin GPIO header that provides UART, SPI, I2C and PWM functions. On the back of the board, there are two important keys. There is a reset button and a recovery button which is used to flush an operating system to this single board computer. On the back of the board, you can also notice the module that provides Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. It supports dual band Wi-Fi at 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz and Bluetooth 5. Next to the module there is a dedicated connector to plug the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna which was provided as part of the kit. In terms of size and dimensions, XPI35660 is exactly the same as a Raspberry Pi Zero which means 65 mm by 30 mm. It is a powerful but really tiny single board computer. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison between XPI35660 and of course a Raspberry Pi Zero. As I told you, same size and dimensions, however the connectors are different. Raspberry Pi does not have onboard storage and it relies only on a micro SD card, while XPI35660, uh, as we mentioned, comes with an onboard eMMC. Both boards have the 40 pin connector and the mini HDMI connector, however there is a difference in the USB connectors. The Raspberry Pi Zero comes with micro USB connectors, while this new board that I have here is with USB-C connectors. USB-C is the future and pretty much the present, so this is definitely an advantage. Let's see this single board computer in action. I have already flashed an operating system on XPI35660 and now it's time to wire it by connecting it to an HDMI monitor, a mouse, a keyboard and actually I will also connect a mechanical keyboard that I have designed. This is Anavi MacroPad 12 just because it's fun. There are only two USB-C ports which obviously isn't enough so the right one is to power on the board I'm providing 5 volts uh, DC current and the other USB port that's on the left is uh, used to attach um, an extender, a USB hub to which I attach all the other devices, in this case the two keyboards and the mouse. As you have already seen, this board has no micro SD card slot, so the only way to get started with it is to flash an image on the internal memory. Because of this, I downloaded the Debian image provided by the hardware vendor and flashed it with the Rockchip proprietary tools on Ubuntu Linux. The getting started process is a little bit annoying, I won't cover it in this video, but stay tuned for next video where I'll uh, share the exact steps.
I visited geniatech.com. This is the website of the manufacturer of the single board computer. From the software section, there are two options for download. One of them is Debian 11 and the other option is Raspberry Pi OS that is emulated. I decided to go with Debian 11. Debian is a community-driven Linux distribution with a lot of packages. It's very popular among makers. This is a Debian 35 image for XPI35660 that boots with a graphical user interface. I'm impressed that it booted really fast on this tiny single board computer and it works pretty well. I opened a terminal to type in a few commands and to get a better understanding of the system. As you can see the Linux kernel is 5.10. As of today this is kind of an old kernel because Linux kernel 6.10 was recently released. I also have to note that the latest and greatest Debian version as of the moment is Debian 12 and this is Debian 11. So in general as a conclusion I can say that the software is a little bit outdated for XPI 35660. Of course you can update the software on your own and get some improvements but it might not be trivial. Geniatex. XPI35660 has the same form factor and dimensions as Raspberry Pi Zero, but what are the pros and the cons? Obviously the advantages are quite a lot. It's more powerful because it has the Rockchip RK3566 system on a chip. It also has two USB-C ports um, and it has an internal memory instead of a micro SD card. The disadvantages? Uh, well, there are some. Of course, this small form factor also means that there are not so many connectors, but this is pretty much the same for Raspberry Pi Zero. And the other disadvantage is that the getting started process is a little bit more complicated because there is no micro SD card. Also a huge disadvantage is the lack of uh, community or at least not as huge community as uh, in the case of Raspberry Pi uh, single board computers and the Raspberry Pi OS. This is a pretty nice board. It's more powerful than Raspberry Pi Zero. However, it's not the perfect fit for any project. Consider using it if you have uh, the need to use something more powerful with the same form factor as Raspberry Pi Zero. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.